At first glance, an otter and a beaver might seem like cousins, both aquatic mammals, both masters of rivers and lakes, both equally at home in water as on land. But beneath that surface similarity lies a dramatic contrast in lifestyle, personality, and purpose. One is a playful predator that turns rivers into playgrounds, while the other is a tireless engineer capable of reshaping entire landscapes. When these two animals share the same waterways, they aren't just coexisting, they're living out two completely different philosophies of survival. So what really separates an otter from a beaver? Which one is faster, smarter, stronger, or more influential on the environment? Today, we dive into the fascinating world of otter versus beaver. And by the end, you may never look at a quiet river the same way again. Let's explore, right here, on History of Simple Things. Otters and beavers may both be semi-aquatic, but their bodies are built for very different jobs. Otters have long, sleek, flexible bodies designed for speed and agility. Their powerful tails act like rudders, helping them twist and turn effortlessly underwater, while their webbed feet give them explosive acceleration. Their fur is incredibly dense, one of the thickest in the animal kingdom trapping air to keep them warm even in icy waters. Beavers, on the other hand, are stockier and heavier, built more like tanks than torpedoes. Their most iconic feature, the broad, flat tail, is not just for swimming but also for balance, fat storage, communication, and even temperature regulation. While otters look aerodynamic and playful, beavers look sturdy and purposeful, as if every part of their body was designed with construction work in mind. One of the biggest differences between otters and beavers lies in what they eat. Otters are carnivores and highly skilled ones at that. Their diet consists mainly of fish, but they also consume frogs, crabs, crayfish, mollusks, and sometimes even small mammals or birds. Hunting is an active process for otters. They chase prey underwater, use their sensitive whiskers to detect vibrations, and rely on sharp teeth to secure a meal. Beavers, by contrast, are strict herbivores. They feed on tree bark, leaves, twigs, aquatic plants, and roots. In winter, when food is scarce, beavers rely on carefully stored branches submerged near their lodges. This difference in diet shapes everything about how these animals live. Otters must move constantly to hunt, while beavers invest time and energy into modifying their surroundings to ensure long-term food security. When it comes to housing, otters and beavers could not be more different. Otters are opportunists. They often take over abandoned burrows, natural crevices, or hollow riverbanks, and they may switch dens frequently. Their homes are places to rest, groom, and raise young, but not permanent monuments. Beavers, however, are legendary builders. Using trees they cut down with their powerful incisors, mud, and stones, beavers construct dams that slow rivers and create deep ponds. Within these ponds, they build lodges with underwater entrances that protect them from predators and freezing temperatures. These structures are not just homes, they are ecosystems. Entire wetlands form around beaver dams, supporting birds, fish, amphibians, and plants. In this category, the beaver isn't just an animal, it's an architect of nature. Otters are often described as the clowns of the animal world, and for good reason. They are famously playful, sliding down muddy banks, wrestling with each other, tossing stones, and engaging in social games that seem almost unnecessary for survival. This play is actually important. It helps young otters develop hunting skills and social bonds. Otters are highly intelligent and curious, often observed manipulating objects and solving simple problems. 
Beavers, while less playful in appearance, are no less intelligent. Their behavior is focused, methodical, and purposeful. Every tree they fell and every dam they build follows instinctual engineering principles. Beavers are also highly territorial and communicate through scent markings and tail slaps on the water to warn others of danger. Where otters thrive on movement and interaction, beavers thrive on structure and stability. Socially, otters and beavers both value family, but they express it differently. Otters often live in small family groups or loose social units, especially species like river otters, which may hunt and play together. Mothers are extremely attentive, teaching pups how to swim, hunt, and survive in the wild. Beavers live in tightly knit family units called colonies, typically consisting of a monogamous pair and their offspring from several years. Everyone has a job. Young beavers help maintain dams, gather materials, and care for younger siblings. This cooperative lifestyle allows beaver families to survive harsh winters and maintain complex structures over many years. If we compare environmental influence, beavers clearly dominate. Their dam building activities dramatically alter landscapes, slowing water flow, reducing erosion, recharging groundwater, and creating wetlands that support biodiversity. Many conservationists consider beavers a keystone species because their presence benefits so many others. Otters, while less transformative physically, play a crucial role as top predators in aquatic ecosystems. By controlling fish and invertebrate populations, otters help maintain balance and prevent overpopulation of certain species. In short, beavers change the shape of the environment, while otters regulate the life within it. So who wins in an otter versus beaver comparison? The truth is neither and both. Otters win in agility, speed, and playfulness, embodying adaptability and intelligence through movement and curiosity. Beavers win in strength, endurance, and environmental impact, reshaping the world around them through sheer persistence and engineering genius. They represent two wildly different strategies for success. One thrives by mastering motion, the other by mastering structure. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.